I'm Steve Mathis, Trans World Motocross Editor at Large. You may be wondering why I'm holding a bottle of cooking spray and a roll of duct tape. No, I'm not on America's Most Wanted. But this week on Trans World Motocross How To, presented by Bike Bandit, I'm going to show you guys how to set your bike up for extreme mud conditions. Now we know that mud is uh, is a great equalizer in motocross racing, and the uh, many times when you struggle in the mud, uh, it's because your machine quits work. And I'm going to try to tell you, show you some tips on how to get your bike running the whole mud moto. And don't forget, I was the winning mechanic at the 2000 Mount Morris National, which was super muddy, so I know a thing or two about mud support. Uh, what some guys can do, you take some duct tape, and you can uh, put it on the underside of your fender. Basically, uh, wrap it around like so, and stick it to your fender. All right, so you just stick your duct tape on the underside of your fenders, air box and such. And what that can do is after you come in from a moto, you can simply grab it like so and pull it off off the, off the underside of the fender and all your mud will come off. Um, that's one way to it, being able to keep your bike uh, underneath your fenders where all the mud accumulates. It's one way to keep your bike uh, lighter and be easy to get the mud off. Another thing you can do on top of the duct tape is you can get some non-stick cooking spray. Pam is a popular brand. And just take that, spray it under your bike. What that does is gives your plastic a slimy film of grease almost and doesn't allow the mud to stick as easy. So you can also do that to underside of your both fenders, uh, under any side of your frame to your skid plate, anything like that. As well in the mud, your chain will end up getting very, very uh, solid, packed full of mud. It'll get very uh, stiff. So uh, I would generally think you could run your chain a little looser than normal. Just go a couple turns in, make the chain a little looser, that thing will tighten up. Take your pantyhose off your head after you rob the liquor store. Take that off. Take your radiator louvers off your bike and stretch the pantyhose over top of the radiator louvers. And what that does is again, heat is your enemy at these mud races and the bike will get hot and you'll puke out your coolant and the bike will stop. So what you can do to keep your radiators clear, which allows air to get through, which keeps the heat away, Pull some pantyhose over your louvers, like so. Tie it up on the end, real nice and tight. Looks like I cut too much off, but hey, whatever, you get the idea. Poke some holes for your bolts in there, cut a little thing around there, and you have a nice protective film on your louver. Mud won't stick to that. Keep the air flowing, and keep your bike on the track. All right, what you can do is uh, at your local dealer, go down and buy some skid plate foam, some open cell foam. Uh, a bunch of people have it. Uh, mud is your enemy at these races, so take some. This might be a little bit too big of a piece, but um, basically stick it inside. You can put your zip ties right through the foam. It'll make it easy. And take your foam. And just loosely, don't do it too tight because the foam will move during a moto and it'll get all, all in there. So um, just make it loosely on your shifter, like so. Uh, this piece, you'll, you can cut it and trim it, like so. Let me do it right here for you. Mud wants to occupy every space of your bike, so the more you can put lightweight open cell foam in those open spaces where mud likes to collect, the better. So just uh, get some clips, some snips, and trim it. And there you go. Now you'll be able to move your shifter, but mud is not going to be able to gather there. So some more foam, you can jam it in your brake pedal as well, stick it in there with some zip ties. Foam can go there, foam can go in here. Uh, you can get a little crazy with the foam if you want. Um, stick it all in here as well. Keep the, it'll keep the heat in a little bit, but it'll also prevent the mud from gathering. Foam is your friend. Always, always, always. Hand guards, here's some Renthal hand guards. 
Uh, we're not going to install them on this bike because we've already done installing hand guards. You'll have to watch that. But hand guards are a must in the mud. It keeps your keeps the mud off your hands. Keep your hand, keeps your mud off your grips. Um, if you fall, it keeps it from getting in there. So definitely install hand guards to go along with all these other tips. Wire your grips. Again, we've done a safety wire grip installation video. You can make sure your grips are wired. And there's one last thing. All right, a lot of the modern bikes nowadays, they have the air vents into the side panels and into the fenders and such to get to direct air into the air box, suck air to make more power. But in the mud races, those aren't gonna be needed. So whatever brand of bike you have, go in and put some duct tape and block all those channels off. Um, keep the water, wherever there's spaces for air, guess what? spaces for mud and water to get in so tape that up also when you're coming in and you hit water and water spraying a lot of times it likes to uh, gather from the front wheel into your air box like so so you can simply get some duct tape I think there's somebody out there that does a little shtick about duct tape and, and the uses it has Funny story though, don't go too much over this. I had a mechanic on a team I worked with. All right, I'm just kidding, it was me. No, it really wasn't. Uh, a mechanic on a team I worked with was so worried about mud prepping his bike that he taped up his air box too much and the bike wouldn't run. So leave some of it open. You're gonna need some air to get into the motor, to get into the motor so the motor works, but tape up the top of your air box so it protects the water. Tape up your vents in here. Uh, on a Honda back in the day you could make a little router so that the, air, the water would drop down in there. So seal all that up. Water's your enemy. Another thing you can do, if the track's not too rocky, lower your air pressure. Get you more traction, get more rubber onto the ground in the slippery mud. Stiffen your suspension. We did another one of these videos on compression. Go in on your compression, uh, on, the, on the shock, high speed and low speed, and on the forks as well. Compression's on the top of your forks. Go in four clicks, let's say, uh, make a major change. What that'll do is the extra weight from the mud on your motorcycle will bog it down. Going in on the compression will keep it upright a little better and try to stay upright in the mud and make your suspension work a little better. All those tips are very, very useful in the mud. So next time you have a mud race, be prepared and all your buddies will be jealous. My name is Steve Mathis and that's been this week's Transworld How-To Bike Bandit Tip of the Week.